Welcome to Face Off. This is the second week show. This week we're gonna meet some people in the theater who helped me become Phantom. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be awesome. Let's go do that right now, come on. Oh wait, oh I made this new sound, I totally forgot. I made this new sound. Wait, no, that's not it. Well, I gotta figure out how my mouth went. No. No, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. It was really cool. I was doing it last night to myself. Don't worry. By the eighth episode, I'll be like a, I'll be, I'll be that Spielberg guy. You'll be like, oh, let's, let's do another Indiana Jones. Okay, good. I finally, I finally realized. Uh, I remembered how to do the sound. <laughs> All right, guys. Time to get ready. Okay, let's go. Sometimes you forget your shave. You're supposed to be in the makeup chair in two minutes. Meow. 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 You know, in some ways, this electric razor kind of feels like a kitty's licking my face. Meow. 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 Oh. Oh, robot kitty. Stop licking my face, robot kitty. Meow. Meow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got uh, Yeah. I got to get in there. Meow. Get all them, get on it, get in there and get them nose hairs and get on the side and get them nose hairs. Mmm, just shaving my brains out, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna meet the man who literally puts my pants on me. He dresses me. Come on. What's happening? Hi, Andrew. Ben, why do you have a camera? Because I want to talk to you. Yes. What would you like to talk about? Well, ladies and gentlemen, first, this is Andrew Nelson. He is the phantom dresser. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he has, he's literally responsible for putting my clothes on me. Literally, I could not do this without him. And tying your shoes. Tying my shoes. How long have you been here, uh, Andrew? Twelve years in this job. Twelve years in this job. Fifteen, 15 total. total? Yeah. You've been a photographer as well. You're an I've actor. Photography, acting. You're kind of an artistic I've jack of all trades. Here's my question. How annoying is Ben Crawford? Oh How do you God. deal with him on a daily basis, though? You know, it, it's hard to quanti quantitate <laughs> the amount of annoyance that you can get from one human being. Oh, don't get me started on him. I know. He's the worst. The worst. He's like you ordered, it's like getting a poop salad. Well. You know, what's great about you is you're able to adapt to whoever comes into this role. But did you ever think that you have a poop salad in this role? No. That's Never. just got to be it's difficult. It's unbelievable. Oh. It's hard. we got to wear plastic gloves all the time. I, I, I carry on poop bags. Oh, I think about you on a daily basis dealing with that poop salad. Oh, can you imagine? No thanks. No thanks. No I didn't know thanks. that was you behind the camera. Oh, it was me. Oh. You didn't know? You didn't I know why. Because I did this. Because I look like a robot and you can't see my eyes. Bless you for dealing with that guy, Andrew. I did this last week, but I look like a robot when I do this. I'm like Robocop. Yeah. Stop in the name of the law. I'm fat Robocop. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you another thing. Um, I love to scare Terrence. Now, Terrence Doherty is the Rowl Dresser, and I love to scare him throughout the show. In fact, his nickname is now Scarence, because I can literally scare him with anything. So, sometimes I used to scare him, I would just go, boo. And then I would say uh, body parts. But now it's gone to Italian dishes. So like today I scared him. He was looking for me and I was like, spaghetti, you know, rigatoni, anything, anything like an Italian dish or food. Um, that's how I scare him. So um, we'll also be doing that uh, tonight. Yeah. Andrew, who do uh, we scare on an almost show basis? Terrence Doherty, <laughs> the greatest scares Ever. It's going to become a regular theme, I believe, yeah, in the I vlog. He's wearing his Depends today. Oh, me too. <laughs> Terrence. Yeah? How are you today? Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Terrence Doherty. He's the Rowell dresser. Oh, yeah. Vlog? What's a vlog? A vo uh, Terrence just asked what a vlog is. A vlog is a video blog. Oh. A vlog. No, it's, it's very interesting because I am doing it. Do you want to know me to answer a question? Yeah. Terrence, 
Um, you dress John Riddle. Yes. What is the most embarrassing part of his body? I think it's a little bump on his foot. <laughs> yeah, he's got this embarrassing bump on yeah, his he's foot. Got a little bump. Oh, it's terrible. So. And we love John. I love him, but you know, you just don't want to look at him barefoot. No, you'll. Uh, That's the way it works. Uh, Feet and fingernails are very telling about a person's uh, cleanliness. Oh, I agree. And not so much the bump. The bump is fine. It's a, you need clean fingernails. Yes, yes, both. I mean, I bite the hell out of my nails, but they're mm, still clean. It's a bad habit. But it is a bad as habit. As long as they're clean, because yeah. honestly... I also put them in my mouth. You get sick because of yeah. biting your fingernails. Oh, I don't disagree with you, Terrence. I don't disagree oh, with oh you. Oh, God, I love it. It's the first time. Terrence and I have lots of squabbles at home. Yes. Yeah. All right, I must go. You I must go. Prepare. You have responsibilities. Got You've got I clothes and costumes. you have to go have a great show, Christmas. Terrence. Yes, and a happy new year. I love the vlog. <laughs> We're going to scare him so bad. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to scare Terrence. Okay. He's probably coming soon. Look at this picture of a narrow. Look at this Jesus. <laughs> Jesus was the phantom. Three, are you a Don sir? Oh my god, get it off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Thelma Pollard. Hi. <laughs> Thelma, how are you today? I'm well today. Babe. Fantastic. Now you've been at the show for a, a couple weeks now, right? Yeah, I just actually just been in school last week. Just started school, right? <laughs> no, you've been here since the beginning, essentially, have you not? Yes, I have been here. I yeah. was in the hair department at first, mm -hmm. and then the management learned that I knew how to do makeup and special effects makeup and everything, and then they asked me if I would cover. I applied it on Michael Crawford while he was still here, mm -hmm. and then... When they started the tours, I got offered to go set up a tour That's very in Los cool. Angeles. And Thelma is responsible for making sure that uh, I look frightening on, uh, that I look frightening. Where's the camera? There it is. That, you know, so that I look intimidating as the Phantom. So we're going to show you uh, some of the process right now up to when I have to put the prosthetics on. So sit back and relax and get ready for a, a fun journey. And that's all you can see. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going down for the first entrance right now. Hello. Oh. Do you like my hair? This is Jeremy. Oh. Hi guys. Thank you, Thelma. Say hi. Hi, have a good show. Thank you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> making magic. We're making magic tonight. Oh yeah. We're in the bowels of the theater now. Mmm, it's so dark. Make sure you're Again! <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Face Off. Next week, we'll be talking to some of the cast members. We'll be figuring out what else goes on in the Majestic besides just Mr. Phantom Pants here. So thank you so much for checking it out. I love the feedback I got from the first episode. I hope there's more from this one. Yes, it's weird. Yes, it's unconventional. Yes, it's all me. Thank you for checking it out and get ready for episode three next week of... Face Off! <laughs> okay, where's the button? I can't find the button on the back here. Let me... Is it on still? No, it's still on. It's still on. I know, I know it is. I know it is. Give me a second. <sighs> yeah, you're a real jerk, actually. You're a real jerk. Let me just, let me just figure it out myself. This guy.